How are you doing? I'm doing great, and uh, I'm glad to be back. It's the new TMT where we're going to do Grill the Expert. It's a new concept where we bring a bring an expert in, and oh, you and I really? well, let's put them on the grill. Who's going to be today? Let's grill, let's get somebody in today. Well, I think that would be great. I didn't make any phone calls, so I'm going to have to grill you. That's the uh, that's the grill we're going to wait, wait use you as the expert. <laughs> this, that's so what a fake is it? Head move right there. What, in case you're wondering, what is it? You're an expert. It <laughs> is the first question. It's mental health, right? Yeah. Well, no, I I I, um, I can't claim expertise in just about anything. I'm just day to day, but. But um, I've been around a lot of mental health professionals, and I do have a couple of degrees, um, and I taught there. So I guess that makes me somewhat knowledgeable, but uh, let's don't go too far in that direction because well, these got, would be my opinions. You've got another show here at Columbus Media Group yeah. on the Columbus Podcasting division of Columbus right. Media Group, and that's Got Therapy, right? So you're the interviewer. And Dan Ross is the... Dan Rose, yes. Dan, I mean, Dan Rose, that's right. Yeah, he is yeah. the... Uh, well, Dan Ross might be somebody we want to Dan grill Dan Ross would be thing. a good... He'd be good to grill on on the state of publishing and uh, oh, literature. Yeah, I he'd like be that good. Guy. Let's, yeah, uh, Dan but, Rose is the got therapy. Guy. Yeah, yeah, Dan. And um, But let's... I like your idea. So you're going to make a list of folks we're going to bring in and grill on the various uh, issues that they know about. Got list. I... Got a list. Already, already a got secret a list. list. Had a panel of experts devise a list of, of expertise across the, I guess the region that we will all right. We I bring like, them I in. like the I like the fact that you've worked on this with the list, and unfortunately, you have chosen me as the person well, you're going to start with. So the uh, panel of experts. The panel of experts you know, came up with this. Columbus Media okay. Group has a panel of experts that we consult <laughs> on every issue. And, in fact, they devise the questions we're going to have today. Okay. I'm not going okay. to improvise questions. I'm going okay. to, okay. I'm going to uh, read the questions as written. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, let's see how this works. I don't know if I'm ready. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure I'm not ready. Uh, but I'm going to, I'm going to do what I can do here and we'll have a conversation after all, you know, listen, this has been the idea of Columbus podcasting is just for people to have a conversation. I think that's the most important thing. And if it helpful, if it's helpful to someone else or they want to join in and that, that, that'll achieve its mission right there. Well, the concept today, the theme, if you will, is emotional and spiritual health in this millennium, this new millennium. Right. And uh, I think you and I began working on concepts like these as far as the publication and uh, the uh, broadcasting Mm -hmm. maybe close to 20 years ago. Yeah, it was quite a while back, and I thought we we brought in um, all kinds of issues that that you had read something or I had read Mm -hmm. something. I remember several, you know, even had the Grateful Dead and leadership style in there. That's right. That's right, some uh, counterintuitive things. Yeah, Yeah. and uh, Get It Mm -hmm. It Done, the the idea of the book, the guy said how to to figure out how to be more efficient in your day-to-day activities. Steve Jobs' leadership. Yeah. We did that. So, so those are interesting. This is a continuation of it, but it seems like we're now in a new millennium. It's a, so, it's, yes. There's been a lot of change over those 20 years. So, there has been. So, well, I don't know if I'm ready for this, but I tell you what, why don't we just start and see where we go? All right. You ready for question one from our panel of experts? All right, your panel of experts. Okay, go. Given the ubiquity of and rapid expansion of communications capabilities. Right. How, what is the effect on the human being now? And um, maybe talk about some coping strategies. Okay. Well, uh, that's kind of a, that's a broad question in a sense, because if you're asking about um, this, this uh, communication age that we're in now, then it brings in a lot of factors because you have to talk about technology. You have to yeah. talk about the impact of technology on us in our lives. You have to talk about just environmental ideas and issues that impact uh, an individual. Well, I, I don't – by the way, let me just – as a disclaimer, I don't think any of my answers are going to be the answers. It's just my answers. So uh, I'll, I'll try to <laughs> – 
I'll try to go where this this conversation. No, we were us. looking for something to take to the bank for our emotional and our spiritual health. Okay. And now you're hedging. You're yeah. hedging your answer already. Uh, yes, I am, and I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, proud to mention that and say it out loud. But but yeah, let's get back to it. I, I think the idea of communication uh, and the way it's changed so much in just recent years that we're all on the grid. People talk about. Uh, being tethered to their phone. Um, yesterday, I left my phone uh, at the house, and I made a little trip out, and I got back, and there were eight phone calls. People were from the same person trying to call me eight times. Um, that that example right there is, well, I felt guilty. I felt bad about that. The phone was, I didn't, I just had forgotten. But then uh, the person was really trying to get in touch with me and needed to talk with me. So... So you the, felt the, guilt because you you weren't available. Right, exactly. And I think um, that that is just a small example of how yeah. connected we are, particularly to our cell phones. 